Hello and welcome to Freddit for Beginners part 2. We're going to carry on from where we left off last time when we had some text and we had a Freddit list and I want to show you some codes uh, that we can use in the Freddit list. These are codes that Word uh, itself uses so if I use the find and replace box down at the bottom there you'll see a special menu click on that and you've got one down here which is n dash that's a bit on the small side so if I copy that so you can see it uh, for an n dash we have these two symbols a caret and an equal sign so we're going to put those in our list so there's the n dash so we're going to put those instead of the uh, n dash symbol and the other thing is that if you put the formatting showing then you can see that there's a space after the n dash there but it's quite useful to be able to see it more clearly I think so if you use caret 32 then 32 is the ASCII code for space so we can do the same there caret 32 um, so we can see clearly what those are. Right now we look at the text and we decide that we're going to do some more cleaning up. We've got uh, apostrophes there which are just ordinary straight ones and it would be nice to have the nice curly ones instead. So and also we've got the double quotes which are straight ones and those would be nice to have those as curly. So we can add a couple more lines so that's uh, apostrophe change to apostrophe and quotes change to quotes there we go right so let's try that so I'm going to run thread it from a keystroke because it's quicker so run that and we've got the apostrophes nicely curly now and the same with the double quotes and all our colors the other thing I want to look at in this session is the use of track changes so if I undo those and what I can do uh, is to switch track changes on and run this uh, thread it again okay so we've got loads of changes there rather a lot um, do we really want to show the client that we've changed two spaces into one right through the document possibly not anyway let's see how we can work with that so if I undo those again what I can do is if I choose some of the lines and I decide that those ones I want to apply uh, on the list here I've got the font and I'll strike through if I apply a strike through attribute to those lines and what happens this time if I run the macro again if I run for edit then what it's done as you can see is only tracked the color the change of the word color it hasn't tracked the spaces or the apostrophes and so if it's tracked then you come to the discoloration there and say oh I don't want that so I can undo that tracking okay so that's given you some more techniques that you can use and uh, we'll bring you some more in part three thanks a lot bye